Tragic loss of Palestinian journalist Samer, targeted drone attack and denial of medical aid by Israeli occupation forces. In a devastating incident that has shaken the journalistic community and raised concerns about press freedom, Palestinian journalist Samer met a tragic fate at the hands of Israeli occupational forces. His life was taken not only by a targeted drone attack but also by the denial of immediate medical aid, painting a grim picture of the challenges faced by journalists working in war zones. Samer, a dedicated journalist committed to covering the realities on the ground, fell victim to a targeted drone attack carried out by Israeli forces. The incident, which occurred on, date, has sparked outrage and condemnation from various international human rights organizations and media advocacy groups. The targeted nature of the attack raises questions about the respect for press freedom and the safety of journalists operating in war zones. Samus' untimely death highlights the increasing risks faced by journalists covering events in areas of geopolitical tension. The tragedy did not end with the drone attack, it took a more sinister turn when Israeli forces allegedly prevented immediate medical assistance from reaching Samer. Reports suggest that he was left to bleed for six hours without access to the urgently needed medical attention that could have saved his life. The denial of timely medical aid adds another layer of concern, questioning the adherence to humanitarian principles and the obligation to protect civilian lives, including journalists, even in war zones. The incident raises serious ethical and moral questions about the actions of the Israeli occupational forces involved. Journalists play a crucial role in providing the world with accurate and unbiased information, often at great personal risk. The death of Sema underscores the importance of ensuring the safety and protection of journalists, regardless of the geopolitical context in which they operate. International calls for an independent investigation into the circumstances surrounding Samus' death have gained momentum, with advocates demanding accountability for those responsible. The incident has reignited the debate on the need for greater protection of journalists in war zones and emphasizes the importance of upholding press freedom as a fundamental human right. As the world mourns the loss of Samer, the tragic events surrounding his death serve as a stark reminder of the challenges faced by journalists and the pressing need for international efforts to ensure their safety and protection in war zones.